Welcome to the short demonstration of how to use Deltix Quant Office Quant Server software for the development of automated trading strategy based on Twitter sentiment data. For this strategy, we use data from social market analytics vendor. This data is deployed at Deltix Cloud Services, pre-integrated with historical price data. I'm running this demo on my laptop. I'm using local configuration of TimeBase. Let's start TimeBase Administrator and uh, look at a um, data set. So first of all, as a security identifier, we're using Bloomberg um, IDs, and this is our universe, which contains Forex data and futures data and obviously equities data. Now I'd like to browse through equities data and social market analytics data. So if I click on any ticker, then we'll see that um, data in DCS contains uh, one minute open high low close bars from January of 2010 until August 2013. In this stream, I'd like to show the social market analytics data. The data is um, collected from Twitter feed every 15 minutes. In this strategy, we're going to use two fields field called sentiment and field called volume because we will be doing volume weighted moving average over um, SMA data. Now let's go to Quant Office and look at the strategy. The strategy is uh, using bar subscriptions, daily subscription and uh, stream from uh, Timebase containing the SMA messages. And uh, the logic of the strategy is uh, relatively simple. The trading logic will be based on the fact that uh, fast moving average is above slow moving averages for going long and below for going short, and if there's an opening daily gap. So this is the conditions for daily gaps. The strategy is based on trends in Twitter sentiment data. For each instrument, we're allocating fast and slow moving averages for Twitter sentiments. And we add listener. So every time when the when we get a message from social market analytics, we will be calculating fast and slow moving averages and use them for determining signals. The strategy will be exploring the delay in trading. We're gonna trade either 930 or 932. So opening signals will take place either 930, 932, and closing signals will always happen on day close, which is literally if we get position, we'll just send market order to close our positions. Let's now run backtest of this strategy. I'll go to uh, Quant Office uh, strategy screen, choose configuration, and click on command run. First thing, I'd like to enter parameters. So this strategy will be trading S&P 100 members. We'll backtest it from November 2011 until March of 2013. We'll be uh, visualizing all orders and we'll display total PL at the portfolio chart. So I click on command start. We will define initial capital is half a million. We'll do bet size of $10,000. This is the parameters 15 days and 90 day moving averages. At this strategy configuration, we're not going to hedge by index and we will just uh, open uh, signals. We'll calculate, we'll open trades at 9.30. Uh, we will backtest uh, using intraday bar using current bar close uh, field methodology for market orders. Let's look at the results of backtesting. The first visual report is per instrument trading and signal report. It represents trading signals and PL curve for each instrument in our universe. What we observe here is the first of all price chart. It's a 24 uh, hour trading window. The green line represents the uh, raw SMA data uh, is broadcasted by social market analytics. The black curve and um, blue curve represent fast and slow moving averages. So every time fast moving average crosses slow moving average, actually in this particular case, we will be uh, sending short signals. So this is where we are um, sending the signal and filling it by close level. And if I scroll to the right, we will be closing our position and uh, this represents daily PL fluctuation. So if I zoom out back to two years, this is the chart for Apple. Using this drop down list, we can navigate to any instrument from our universe and look at prices, signals, and PL curve of each equity. Let's go and look at Google. We will see that the strategy actually makes money on Google. 
uh, I can also scroll and uh, visualize every PL curve of every instrument. This is portfolio chart. If I zoom out to two years, we'll see that uh, total PL curve of portfolio is quite attractive. At the second pad, I'm representing each uh, individual instrument. You can see pair of curves, and the bottom curve represents the uh, net money which are required to run the strategy. So maximum amount of uh, capital we need around $400,000. Our initial capital is 500, so obviously the strategy will work fine. Let's look now at performance reports. Uh, I click on performance report and um, the statistic of the, the entire strategy represented here. We can again zoom to any instrument and look at each of them individually, or let's look at again at all uh, instruments. Our share ratio is 3.3, the average profit per share is 9 cents, and the profitable trade ratio is uh, 0.58, meaning that we've got 924 winning trades and 665 losing trades. Next, I'd like to go to trade report and um, look at Instagram. Specifically, I want to look at net profit. So this curve represents that trades are positive skewness, which is what we expected with a mean value of $24 on the 10,000 bet size. Next report I'd like to look at by instrument report. And specifically, I'd like to look at distribution of cumulative profit percent. The cumulative histogram lets me enter 100 uh, intervals. And that's the very useful chart that shows us that 25% of instruments uh, would be losing money while 75%, three quarters of instruments will make money. All right, next one, I'd like to use exactly the same configuration. I will add hedging by uh, SPY. So if we run this strategy, I'll be just confirming that I'm going to hedge by SPY and we're still going to trade at 9.30. So this big test will show improved performance. Let's fast forward. So the result of this big test um, illustrated on the portfolio chart is we see the market neutral strategy. So we have now uh, hedging with um, SPY. And the results of this hedging uh, improved the performance of the strategy. And we see that information ratio is greater than 4.0. Finally, I would like to present the comparison of four different configurations of this strategy. First of all, the difference would be using hedging, true or false, and whether we get trade at 930 or 932. And so we look at uh, four different scenarios. They represent this table. And the difference in information ratio is between 3.3 and uh, 3.7, and the uh, average profit per share will be fluctuating between 3 cents and 8 cents per share. That concludes my presentation. Thank you very much.